Hello, welcome to Dry Creek Beekeeping. So, I finally caught the animal that has been messing with my hives. I'm going to be telling about the animal that came here and was taking the entrance feeders off my hive and drinking out of them, and how I solved that problem. One week prior to the animal's capture is when I first noticed that this problem was happening. In my video title, Checking to Make Sure My Queen is Still Alive, I first noticed that the entrance feeder of my hive had fallen off. Okay, so first things first, I'm already seeing a pretty worrying thing. As you can see, it fell, apparently. It actually kind of looks like an animal try to get to it. More signs that an animal actually did probably come over here and try to get stuff. This is knocked over and completely empty. And also this is knocked over, which just had some wood chips for lighting the smoker. However, I didn't really know what was happening. I mean, I said it could be an animal in that video, but in reality, I kind of doubted that, and I just thought it was because of the wind, because we had a few pretty windy days prior to me making that video. Then, the next day, while installing a new bee package, this hive specifically, I noticed that the entrance feeder had once again fallen off of the hive. Again, I just said that this was because of the wind, and I moved on. Although, before I did that, I put a small bucket underneath the entrance feeder to keep the wind from blowing it off again. Then Monday, May 17th, something really weird happened. I noticed that the entrance feeder was almost 10 feet away from the hive. And I knew that there was no way this could be wind. I knew that it had to be an animal. So what I did was I set the half empty feeder up on the table so that I could figure out a plan for the next day when I would set up some sort of something to keep the animal from keep, keeping on doing this. I thought that the animal wouldn't be able to get the entrance feeder from up on the table. Sadly, I was mistaken, as I learned the next day. Tuesday is when I realized that the only thing that I could do was trap it. Trap whatever animal had been causing these problems. So that's exactly what I did. I set up a trap specifically this one right here, with a jar of sugar water inside to act as the bait. And I was fairly confident that it would work. However, once again, I was wrong. The next day, I came down and the entrance feeder was gone and drained completely and the trap had been flipped over on its side. That's when I knew that I had to go all out to make this work. I set up a trail cam. I made sure that the trap didn't move by putting a metal pole into the ground and attaching it with a bungee cord. And I even went so far as to remove any other sources of sugar water in the area so that the only one was in the trap. Thursday, finally brought success. I caught the animal, and it was a raccoon. In fact, it was a very aggressive raccoon. Finally caught him. <coughs> Ooh, jeez. And then 45 minutes later, I came down wearing a full bee suit, gloves, everything, and I had a tractor with me to make sure that I didn't have to carry the trap all the way back up to my house. But when I came down here, the raccoon 
was gone and he had made a mess. Nothing was wrong with my hives, but the trap was filled with nastiness. Jar was all covered in that same nastiness. The wire on the trap was bent and the bungee cords were basically ruined. Normally, this sort of thing, the loss of this raccoon that had been causing me problems, would have made me defeat it. However, it brought me hope because I thought that because of all the time he spent in there, there is no way he'll come back. However, I have left this trap out with a sugar water jar in it just to be safe in case he does come back because I don't want him to keep messing with my hives. Now, about him escaping, I don't have any idea how he did that because once I saw him in there, I grabbed a metal pole and I hammered it into the ground in front of the trap. So there was no possible way that the flap on the trap could have gotten open enough for him to escape. It mystifies me, truly. I genuinely don't understand. Now, I do know that raccoons can get into places very well, but I never thought that it would be able to escape like that. Now, hopefully that's the last I see of this raccoon because honestly, making that sugar water is really annoying. Well, that's the end of this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content that I'm creating. And also if you have any questions regarding beekeeping, be sure to put it in the comments. See ya.